All right, we are tracking chilling new details in the Gilgo Beach murder investigation. Now, the New York Post originally reported police found a soundproof room in Rex Uerman's basement, and that police think at least one woman was murdered there. There is some conflicting reported around reporting around this. We will dig into that. The search of his property could wrap up this week. And also, a New York man who lived with one of the victims told the Associated Press that he gave detectives a description of the person he believed was the killer all the way back in 2010. He wants to know why it took so long. We want to welcome in now Michael Balboni, an advisor to the Suffolk uh, County Police Department, also former Homeland Security advisor in New York. Michael, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Michael, I want to first talk about that tipster. So all the way back in 2010, after police discovered the remains of uh, his roommate and three other women in Long Island, the man gives detectives a description of the person he thinks is the killer, also a car, a Chevy Avalanche. Why do you think it took investigators so long to file charges in this case? <clears throat> so the uh, in these types of investigations, over a period of time, you receive literally hundreds and hundreds of tips and at this point in time you know you get this this uh, um, information but it's out of context in other words you don't know the specifics that have been developed in later on over the time and you know investigators have to go through a lot of different details what is uh, the biggest question that a lot of people had is so 13 years since the bodies were found why nothing since and so were there was he active in other areas to use in the dump site? Uh, what were the other things that have happened? And it's all speculative until you actually get him to either confess or that other witnesses come forward and start talking about this. But, you know, the timetable in and of itself, it was a cold case. Uh, it originally, you know, when, when the bodies were found at the scene, I remember the day that that happened, it was all a question as to, so could it be one actor? Could it be multiple actors? Um, there was a speculation at the time that this was, you know, organized crime was using as a dump site. All the different things, if you go back to the press, there's all these different types of uh, uh, possibilities that could have been there. You know, I do want to ask, though, I mean, certainly there's a difference between random public tips coming in and a roommate of one of the victims saying this was the man. And what's the credibility of the roommate? what was the ability to see the, the individual um, could, you know, they didn't have any, at that point in time, they didn't really have a person of interest at that moment. Um, there are many investigative techniques that could have been done at the time. You know, this is again, a long time ago. Uh, it's hard to now sit back and say, well, you know, you should have, could have done this at this point in time. What I think is important is that as they go forward, they make sure that they have all of the different areas that this individual was working in, the uh, um, the alleged perpetrator. You know, what, wh where was he working, and what could they find outside of this home? We know right now he is charged with three murders. Of course, there are quite a few unsolved murders out there. Do you believe that they eventually could be linked to the Long Island serial killer or, or killer? Um, right now, they believe that uh, you know, the the. The information I'm receiving is that uh, they obviously they have three that they linked. There's another one they're looking at, but then the others, you know, they're done. They were done differently. You know, there was um, uh, some of the, the bodies were not whole. The these three and then a fourth one, they were buried in, in very similar ways. In addition, which uh, there was remains that was earlier in 2004. Um, it, that's one of the best guesses as to when it happened. So there's inconsistent patterns. Now, it doesn't doesn't mean that uh, a serial killer won't change the modus operandi that they that he would use in this case. But it's unlikely that there aren't other individuals who might have done something illegal, not illegal, but you know, committed murder and tried to hide the body. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.